Berlin. In recent years, the German capital has established itself as the number three European tourist destination after London and Paris. Each year sets a new record for the number of visitors. In 2013, there were 27 million overnight stays. It's a fantastic city to experience and to live in and to travel through. My professor told me if you want to be an architect, you have to see Berlin. I like the atmosphere in Berlin. It's all very lively, lots of different people, and all of them are very nice. The food is excellent, my favorite is uh, currywurst, and I like the beer prices. Everyone told us it was so cold here, but that's not true at all. We must have chosen the right week, it's fantastic. Berlin is especially popular with British, Italian and American visitors. On average, half a million tourists make their way through the city every day, relying on a variety of guides. The good old paper map has gotten a lot of competition in the past few years, and not just digital. American Sam White and Eileen Long decided on a personal tour through the Berlin art scene, organized by the small company Nisha Berlin. We wanted something that wasn't um, you know, your typical museum experience. Um, and we were, we're very interested in galleries you know, in New York and when we travel, so we thought this would be a perfect way to see it in our short time here. There are around 440 galleries in Berlin. The two Americans' tour is tailored to their interests. They won't see places that are listed in every guidebook, but rather smaller, less well-known galleries, like True Insiders. And curators, gallery owners and artists often take time to chat on these special tours. The perception we have from the outside, this is our first trip to Berlin, is that art is very fundamental to the city. Everywhere, even be it the graffiti, uh, whatnot, like, art is more or less what we see as being one of the, the most Berlin things there is. Art and culture are important to Berlin. Tourists are very likely to visit one of the 180 museums or memorials on their first visit, for example, at the Museum Island. Lots of visitors to Berlin are also interested in history. And 2014 is the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. For many, a good reason to come. However, the large number of tourists in Berlin are not always welcomed with open arms. In 2011, there was even a political sticker campaign against too many visitors. Filmmaker Nena Repan examined this phenomenon in her new documentary, Welcome Goodbye. Berlin's not just about great sights, as in other cities like Rome or Paris, but there's a Berlin factor, the daily life in the neighborhoods. The problem is, because Berliners live in such a world, if there are too many tourists trying to make their way into this neighborhood to view this lifestyle, they can destroy it. Tips for visiting Berlin neighborhoods can be found in the many guides that have been written about the city. The publisher Tenoyus has now published yet another guide. It looks like a coffee table book and doesn't offer general recommendations, but only a few selected ones. A book like this is wonderfully inspiring, but especially out in the streets, an app is much more practical and provides quite a lot of benefits that a book simply can't, from GPS leading you to the right destination to the fact that it provides much greater detail that's more up-to-date. That's why the publisher has gone digital. The app in the Cool Cities series, which now includes 21 cities, including Berlin, leads visitors to exclusive places. But at clubs and bars, an insider tip can quickly develop into an overcrowded tourist magnet, destroying the charm that made the place worth visiting in the first place. I'm not quite so pessimistic. Berlin is a big city, and fortunately there are still plenty of places. And if a club is overrun somewhere, then the next club will open somewhere else. So there is still room for experimentation. And at the end of their day, the two New Yorkers are satisfied. We just love the energy. It's, um, it's, very, it's very young, it's very new. And that's what's drawing more and more people to see Berlin. <laughs>